right, guys. Welcome back to Theme Parks and Horror Stuff. We're here at Midsummer Scream. Midsummer Scream, everyone. Here, let me get a good... Got Deadpool. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be at Disney right now? No. Yeah, Queen Mary's Dark Harbor coming back this year. We're our first time going. We're gonna go our first time, maybe on Halloween. Yep. All right, let's get down there. We're gonna go. Head to the Hall of Shadows first, try to complete all those mini haunted houses. Uh, we're skipping Knott's panel, but we're gonna be at Horror Nights' panel, so. You ready? Ready, let's go. Oh, it's a lot to do today. I wish we'd gone the whole weekend, but it is what it is. All right, so you have Haunted Hayride, Universal's little thing right now. Is people already in line for this? This is crazy. All right. Then we have uh, Six Flags Fright Fest. A lot of little photo ops for this uh, IPs for this year. We dare you. Oh, this Line Gates booth. We'll have to hit that up later. Looks like they're doing a little photo op. All right, Dust Fall Hollow. Let's head in. Our first one, Fear Farm. Gates house and it looks like a big nice big one Oh, you don't like choices. 
was so good. They got me a couple times in that one. <laughs> yeah, they did. They good. got you good. Yeah. All right, we'll see what's next. All the lines are looking pretty long today. Seems like everybody waited till the last day to do the houses. Happy hauntings. The Santa Ana hunt. That house lines guy got me real good. It's fun. actually <laughs> Oh, that movie freaked me out. Fangora. I have to pick a mag later. Oh, and I'm not scary farms over here. Who else is here today? Oh, from um, the Black Phone. More Black Phone. Holy 
like shit, I don't know what all this line's for. It's crazy. <laughs> Got the Ghostbuster guys again. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbuster. No, your girlfriend, Jennifer. Oh. <laughs> shop. Warlord. You ever heard of this brand, Warlord? Yeah. They, uh, they do, they sell metal shirts too. Oh, okay. I like the Haunted Mansion shirt, that's cool. And the Gremlin shirt's cool. It's a little crowded today. Oh yeah. But a little more, I think they oversold tickets this year. But yeah, we're, uh, every, every convention does. Yeah, but we're uh, walking by uh, this museum right now. We got goosebumps. <gasps> oh, they have the shirt I wanted last year. Uh, I want that one. The Evil Dead. Feature at Halloween Horror Nights of the past. Yes. Who cares? Yes, it has. What we're going to take you through today, and I'm going to do a deep dive into Ooh. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the legacy of Leatherface. This is an all new experience. I'm going to show you why. But first, a short history lesson. <laughs> so, Texas Chainsaw Massacre goes all the way back to the very beginning. Okay, you know, just the other day we announced a brand new house that continues the Universal Monsters legacy at Halloween Horror Nights. Started in 2018 with Universal Monsters. This is the sixth that we have done at Universal Studios Hollywood, and this one is called Universal Monsters. Yeah. So what's different about this house? Um, this is the first time we've ever done a completely female-centric take on the Universal Monsters, using characters that are um, rooted in our film history, except one which we invented, which I'll tell you about in just a second, um, but bringing these characters to light that maybe are lesser known than some of our, you know, standard characters that everybody knows. Um, we did this in collaboration with our colleagues in Universal Orlando, so Chris and I worked with their team to create this original story. So this is a completely original story, um, and I'm going to show you the monsters. So let's meet the monsters. Let's start with the heroines. Saskia von Helsing. All right, many hours later, we are home now. We had fun at Midsummer Scream this year. Uh, sorry, I did not film too much. Uh, it was very crowded. Uh, couldn't get into any more uh, mazes after the first couple we did. Uh, it seems like a lot of the houses were like shut down on, or on break at the same time. So that was kind of lame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that made all the other houses and lines um, get really long. Um, the only downside I would say is this is our first year doing that. Like we've done this summer for probably about three or four years. Uh, but this is our first time actually finally doing the HHN panel because we always go on a day where it's not happening. So we're due to work and all that. So, I would say it was kind of a mess, because uh, all these workers were telling us different places to line up. I originally was going to line up at 4, but then the girl told us, oh yeah, they're starting the line at 3.30. They definitely started the line way earlier than that, because uh, there was people lined up probably since like 2 or earlier. 
uh, which I'm glad I didn't do because they put that line outside. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure what they could do differently. Maybe hand out tickets or something like, hey, uh, if you want to attend the panel, come get a ticket. I don't know. I don't know how they could do it better, but being outside for that amount of time was not cool. Uh, and then they really didn't make a line. Like everybody formed into like one crowd and then people that were in the back cut out everybody. So basically everybody in front of us was there first because we lined up at 3.30. So and all the people that came after us pretty much cut all those people off. So that was kind of annoying. Uh, and then being in the sun on top of that for like two hours. So uh, that was a big downside. But the good side is we met some cool people. Uh, unfortunately, the only name I got was a little kid we were talking to. His name was Wolf. He was dressed up as a little zombie guy. He did his own makeup. He he knew more knowledge about Horror Nights than most people that I know. And that's crazy. Like, he, he knows about the spec maps. Like, there's people that I know don't even know. They're like, what's a spec map? So, <laughs> And he's the one who won. Oh, yeah. So when Murdy... During the Horror Nights panel, when Marty asked, instead of doing a trivia question in the year, he did like a, oh, like who does home haunts? Uh, Wolf was the kid who won. Uh, but thanks to him and his dad, they saved those seats because we got, we got lost in line. Like a lot of people cut us off. So thanks to Wolf and his dad for uh, saving us seats. And the other two groups of people that were in our group, he, they got them seats too. They were really cool. I, I didn't get your names, unfortunately, but you guys were awesome to talk to. Um, but uh, yeah, congrats to Wolf. Like he's a cool little kid. Like I've never met a kid like him, and he knows he knows me. Like I'm like kids always like look at me weird for some reason. But uh, yeah, we had a good time. Um, I would say we probably need more than one day next year if we're gonna do the HHN panel, and we're gonna splurge on the Gold Bat Pass because I want I, I missed out on a lot of haunts. So I'm. I'm not bummed about it, because honestly, like, I wasn't feeling well most of the time, so it's okay. But I'm sad we missed out on the Black Cat Lounge. That too. Uh, did they even have cats in there? I don't know. I haven't seen any <laughs> footage of there. But, uh, yeah, so we got the announcement. Hopefully, Oops. hopefully, I don't know what good footage I got, because we're, like, way in the back. But we got a house announcement for uh, Texas Chainsaw. It's going to be a mashup of all the, all the, house, all the previous leather oh. faces. Yeah. Uh, we got a luchador mm -hmm. scare zone, so that's going to be pretty cool. And we saw the costumes for uh, Bloodline. the Bloodlines. Uh, Universal Monsters is going to be at uh, the voice stage, which all the underground HHN fans have been talking about for weeks now because they've seen it on doing the, the studio tour. But uh, yeah, our first time doing Horror Nights panel was a lot of fun. I never knew how informative John Murdy gets. Um, talking about like the past of the these houses and what goes into it so i'm even more excited to check out the texas chainsaw house this year and hope it i, ho I hope it's extra smelly <laughs> and bloody and scary so just like he said so, yeah thanks for watching uh hopefully you'll see us at Ho halloween horror nights opening night on september 5th and we'll get going again the following week on september 12th i believe so Hope you see us there. If you say see us, say hi. We'll we'll talk about Horror Nights. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.